guys. So let's move on to main topic number three. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Geeky Gator, who writes, Hey, John and gang, Parasite debuted on Hulu on April 8th, and in just one week became the second most viewed movie on the streaming service, beating the lights of Transformers 5, Creed 2, A Quiet Place, and more. This seems extremely impressive to me and could possibly open the door for more foreign films. What do you think? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And of course, yeah, Best Picture winner, Parasite, now on Hulu, and it's making a killing on Hulu. It's doing great on Hulu for the streaming service. Of course, in reference to what was in the email, this comes to us from IndieWire. Even more impressive, Parasite is now the second most watched movie overall on Hulu ever among titles currently available to stream. What that means is that in one week, Parasite outstreamed the lifetimes of popular titles such as How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, A Quiet Place, Transformers The Last Night, and Creed II, all of which have been available to stream on Hulu for several months. All right. I am shocked. I'm shocked at this figure. I really am. Not because I don't think that Parasite isn't brilliant. It is brilliant. It's a marvelous film. The way I describe, you guys have heard me describe it like this before. I describe Parasite as, imagine Dirty Rotten Scoundrels directed by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> that's that's what Parasite is. It's basically that. And I love every twist and turn of this movie, and it's amazing. But even as somebody who loved this film, I'll tell you what, I didn't expect a whole throng of people to be clamoring to watch it on streaming it's just not a mass popular kind of film it's just not that kind of film so i really wasn't expecting it so to see so many people rushing to see it and setting these types of marks i got to tell you what for me is very encouraging i, I think that's very encouraging stuff to see and, and i think that's great so Good on Hulu. Now, understand, too, Hulu isn't Netflix. Hulu doesn't have the same type of traffic that, say, even Disney Plus does, or definitely, certainly not the type of traffic that Netflix has. But still, to pull off those types of numbers, I think is very impressive. And Aaron, I'll tell you what else. I think it's very deserving because this mm -hmm. movie is brilliant. Of course, it won Best Picture. As far as the question, though, when they ask, do I think this can open the door for more foreign film? Honestly, I don't think this is an issue of it being a foreign film. So I don't right. think it hurts or helps it, to be honest, in terms of it being a foreign film. I just think this is a great movie that won Best Picture at the Academy Awards. What it might do, though, is if some people check this out, because a lot of people don't like watching subtitled movies and stuff like that. It's just not their preference, which is totally cool. But I think what it might do is make some people who aren't really, you know, foreign films aren't their jam. Mm-hmm. It might open a few people up to some more movies for themselves, although I don't know if it's going to make a big difference as far as, you know, streaming numbers and things like that. But anyway, Aaron, you hear these statistics and these figures. What do you think about it? I'm actually, I'm not surprised. And here's why. When Parasite first came out in theaters, uh, it was a big ask for American audiences specifically to go to the movie theater. We've talked ad nauseum about the cost of going to a physical uh, you know, brick and mortar movie theater. And so to ask Americans, A, to go see a movie with um, that is a foreign film that is in a foreign language and is going to require them to pay attention and read, you've already lost like 50% of America with right no there. With no actors they recognize. With no actors that they recognize, despite the fact that they are very well-known Korean actors in Korea and in Asia. Um, and then on top of all of that, you say, well, what's the movie about? Well, we can't really tell you. Because if we tell you what the movie is about, then it'll spoil the whole movie, essentially. Because I asked many people, what is Parasite about? And they said, I'm not going to say what it's about. You just have to watch it's it. It's difficult to say what it's about. I mean, it's how, it's almost hard to define. Well, it's. I mean, I, I think it's just a story about class warfare. Well, that's part of it. I, I see, mean, yeah. that, well, that's what I see. But, you know, obviously there's many, many layers of what the film is. And the film is also, I think, a Different, it means different things to different people depending on the lens through which you are watching it. But so, so I think that the fact that it is doing very well on streaming is not surprising because people who may have been like, I don't necessarily know if I want to pay $23 a ticket plus parking plus popcorn plus whatever. I don't necessarily know if I want to invest in that while it's in the theaters, especially during a time which 
as we have established, 2019 was a killer year for movies. There were so many amazing films to choose from. And someone may have said, well, I'd rather go watch Knives Out or, you know. But once it had, it got not only best picture, also best director. You know, you saw the entire cast. It did really well at the Golden Globes as well. You saw all these people get so excited about this film. And it was really the most talked about film of 2019 that was not a blockbuster. Um, There was a lot of enthusiasm over it. And also, it is a film that when you watch it once, you want to go back and watch it again. Yeah. So I think that this is these numbers are also reflecting repeat viewing. Where and and um, movies like Creed, Transformers, A Quiet Place, those are great movies to see in a theater. You want to see so much Transformers. Eh, just gonna say that. No, what, really? Oh, I hated that movie. Well, no, I I don't mean I don't mean like the quality of the movie. Oh, the, the I just kind mean of movie. The yeah, kind the kind yeah, of movie. I agree with that, yeah. You want to watch a big budget action feature or a horror film like you want to be scared with everybody yeah you know th- so a quiet place makes sense that it would do really well in theaters you i don't want to watch horror films in my house because i'm that i'll i'll have to like burn the house down so i don't watch them in my house i watch them in a the theater and i can ha- i can go okay the theater is haunted my house is a safe zone um but i would have to move if i watched a m- horror movie in my house so i understand why movies like creed and transformers and quiet place would do really well in theaters and maybe not it's like okay i've seen it i don't necessarily need to watch it at home but parasite absolutely that's one for watch it once watch it again, watch it a third time, and I think it's fantastic and good for all of them. Yeah, it's it, it's good to see, and I think it's very, like I said, I'm surprised, but pleasantly surprised. It's good to see. Question is, guys, what do you think about these numbers? I think it's really impressive. How do you feel about them? Jump into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.